I want to show you how to make content because making content could be hard at first, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try to give you a nice little layout and plan to make the making content a little easier. Because if you think about it, it's not as hard as you, you, you may think. So let's go over this schedule and stick to it. I spoke about that before, like a little bit in the expectations, but when you schedule your content, you have to stick to it. If you say you're going to make content and post content at 9 p.m. on Wednesday, you have to do it. You have to stick to it. Because trust me, one time off of that, that schedule can mess up everything. It won't mess up for just this week. It'll mess up next week, the week after, the week after. Next thing you know, you don't have a channel anymore. We don't want that to happen. We want you to be successful. So make a schedule and stick to it. Since I've been making personal content for myself, this has been very, very monumental in my success. You have to brainstorm 24 seven, thinking of every way you can make content. I'll give you an example. I'm on the phone with my friend the other day and he has a YouTube channel as well. So he's like, yo man, I'm stuck, man. I don't, I don't know what to, how to make content. And he told me a story a few minutes prior of what happened in his life. And then he tells me, man, I can't make content, man. I'm stuck. I don't know what to talk about. I'm like, bro, you just told me a crazy story just now. And it matches with your channel. Why don't you just talk about that? He's like, yo, you are right. Like, that's crazy. I didn't even think of that. Always think about how you can make content. I mean, you could be in the store. You could be in a supermarket. You could be in the movies. Always think about how you can make content. Your brain should be on 24-7 on how you can make content. And I'm telling you, when you embed yourself into your channel and into your content, you're going to just start thinking of all the different ways to make content. Like, for instance, today, I went to the pharmacy to, um, to get the Manjaro medicine that I was taking. And they're all out. The guy tells me that uh, don't bother going here, 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 different other pharmacies because they're not going to have them because they're supplied by us, the same people we're supplied with. Try this one and this one. I tried the other ones, and the last one I tried, I found out they had. What I'm saying, I was thinking about it all the time. I'm like, oh, this is content. I made a video today about it because it was great content. People want to know where to get this stuff at. So always, make, always think about making content. So you have an option. You want to show your face or you don't want to show your face? You can make a YouTube channel completely faceless. Nobody will know your voice. Nobody will know your, your face. Nothing. Your name, nothing. And the way people do it is they can do it themselves by making a, a B-roll footage of, of different things or like exercising, say, and uh, working out or playing a football game or singing. It's so much B-roll you can get. And, and then you can put music behind it or you can talk and do a voiceover, which you can also get a voiceover from like places like Fiverr. And they can actually make these videos for you if you don't know how to make them and make all these videos for you. And you can post them on your YouTube channel and you're completely faceless. I can bet you that you've watched the video that was completely faceless. faceless. Um, so if you think about it, the next time you're on YouTube and you see a video and you click it and you start watching it, you might not see no face and you just, they're talking about a certain topic. Like, the thing that happened with Kanye West, you have seen a lot of videos like that. Or NBA players, they talk about their, their careers or something like that. It's a lot of faceless channels like that that are out now that you watch that have no face um, and, and you don't know whose channel it is, but they're successful and they make a lot of money. So decide if you're going to be on the camera or if you're not going to be on the camera. Search content that is relative to yours to make it better. What do I mean? If I'm going to make a, a YouTube video on how to make a YouTube channel, which obviously I did because I'm making this video, I want to see all the different things that people spoke about so now I can speak about the things that were missing or the things that I can do better. And for one, I'm going to tell you that it helps me make my video content better because I don't want to just follow the trend. I want to be the trend. And I'm, my goal is to make my video better than his video, his video, his video. Two, it gives me ideas on what to make content for. Like I've searched like how to make a YouTube channel in 2023 
And I came up with other videos that I'm going to make because I got ideas and seen things like, oh, I could have made that video. So always think about that, making content, but also when you search, think about how ways you can make other, other types of content in your niche. You want to think about what are you going to use? Are you going to use Final Cut? Are you going to use Premiere, CapCut, or Descript? And there's plenty of other ones out there, but I'm just naming a few. I like to edit my own stuff, so I use Final Cut. I also use the script because when I'm making short, short form content, I use the script because it allows me to put text on the, on the videos and, and give it a little nice little animation to it. But you want to decide if you're going to be making the content or you're going to be having someone make it for you. If, if you're going to use Fiverr or something like that, you want to have a budget because it's about $40 a video to make. They make okay content. It's not going to be too like unique, but it'll be enough to get you started and get you get you get people coming to your your channel and to watch your, your content. I want to go over a couple of couple of these uh, sites. These are two sites that I use to get content. I want to go over a couple of sites that I use religiously and they're royal free, free. So once you set up an account, you attach your YouTube channel to it. So now, so now you can post all the content you want that you find on these particular sites. The first one I want to talk about is epidemicsounds.com. This site, I get my instrumentals. I get my sound effects. It's, it's, it has so much, so much audio content that it's insane and it's royal free. You can use it on your YouTube channel. I suggest everyone make an account on Epidemic Sounds. It's amazing. The other one I want to tell you about is ArtGrid. ArtGrid. Remember when I was telling you about B-roll? This, this site, you can find all your different types of B-roll. So if you're doing a faceless channel, you can use your, all this different B-roll in this particular site. Or you're like talking about uh, someone being on a ca um, computer or someone playing football. You can go football and then you'll notice you'll get videos of football. So this site is very, very, very instrumental in my success. I use this site all the time. Another site I want to go over is Jasper. Jasper is AI. And what this, this AI thing has been a super wave, right? But I want you to just take baby steps. Don't go too crazy in it because you might get confused. You might, you might like get discouraged. So I'm just going to show you a couple things that you should do right now with AI. So if you make an account with Jasper, you're going to have access to all the things I'm showing you right now. So I just want to go over a couple things. And to do that, we're going to click templates. Now, you can see it's a, a lot of different things. I don't want you to really feed into this right now because it's just a lot. And to be frankly honest with you, I'm still learning it as well. So I'm going to really just show you what I use technically right now at the moment. And I don't want you to get overwhelmed by this. So let's talk about it. Video description. Would you believe I could get a video description with the correct grammar and everything I need for my videos? Say I want a description for how to start a YouTube. I do how to start a YouTube. Rank for a uh, YouTube, right? And tone, tone of voice. I always use bold. Click generate. And it's, it, look at that. You got you. Are you looking to start a YouTube channel? In this video, I'll share the tips and boom, da, da, da. Say you don't like none of these. Generate more. And it'll keep going until you get what you want. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The person read this. You want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't know how? Don't worry. I got you covered. In this video, and it gives you, it gives you the descriptions you need for your YouTube channel. That's one. Let's go to title. Say I want a, a title for creating a YouTube channel. Same thing. YouTube bold. It's easy as clicking generate. It gives me a bunch of different titles that I can make and use for my YouTube channel. How to create a YouTube channel, step-by-step -step guide. How to get more subscribers on YouTube, 2023 change it, five simple tactics. All these different channels. And again, if you don't like none of these, you can always click generate and it'll generate more. Another one I want to show you is, another one I'm going to show you one more 
is video topic ideas. This is another way that you can also get topics for your videos. So if you look at this, it says, what topics should videos be about? I want it to be about making a YouTube channel. Keywords to rank for YouTube. Voice, bold. Generate. So now, look at this. You want to make a, a channel on how to start a successful YouTube channel from scratch, tips to create engaging content that viewers will want to watch. You see all these different things that you can kind of get ideas on how to make content. So actually, I can even just put YouTube. Forget about making, right? Just put YouTube. And you can kind of see what comes up. It's the same. It's just going to give you some, some stuff. How to start a successful YouTube, how to grow a YouTube following, how to make money with YouTube. All these different titles are stuff that's trending and stuff that's good and ideas that you can make with content for your channel. 